Some very greatly admire him and think he is a hero. Others think that he's one of the worst rascals that ever, you know, entered, entered the West. We're talking about George Rogers Clark with Jim Holmberg of the Filson Historical Society. This is George Rogers Clark's Indian pipe. Uh, it came to us from the Rogers family, and of course there's a family connection there because he gave it after various Indian negotiations in the 1770s, 1780s. Of course, he's one of the heroes of the frontier, the father of Kentucky, as, as many call him. Uh, and then at some point, and the family didn't know when, uh, part of the bowl broke off. That's a very old break. You know, it, we're very fortunate that this still even exists. This kind of thing just doesn't generally, on a pipe some 230 years old, mm. that it even survives. And this would be something that would be very formalized. It was a ceremony. A peace pipe. And it would be passed. It was a peace pipe. And it would be passed back and forth to kind of help seal the deal and then hopefully have peace reign after that, which very often in these kinds of things didn't. Because the native peoples were here, of course, many, many centuries uh, before Euro-Americans started showing up. But in that inevitable push of numbers and, and technology, uh, it was just a, a matter of time before the native peoples were, were pushed out. And George Rogers Clark was one of the leaders. He became the conqueror of the Northwest, the George Washington of the West, uh, the Hannibal of the West. He goes on and he has other military campaigns and exploits. And by the 1790s, Virginia basically says, sorry, you know, we're not going to repay you for all the debt that you incurred fighting our war for us in the West. And so he becomes a very uh, embittered uh, man in his old age. He has health problems, uh, alcohol abuse, and just, a, you know, just really a sad shell of what he was in his youth, his glory being many, many years behind him.